Hello friends and fellow gamers, MKX Jump here, and this week for Idle Heroes, we have an Imps Adventure event that's giving a lot of added rewards. So I imagine a lot of you budget and free-to-play players are wondering, ooh, is this worth me going for? Well, I'll be answering that question today, along with whether if you're a spender, you should be getting any of the packages available. Before we do all that though, let me remind you about Patreon. It's a way you can support the content I make here financially, and in return, get yourself some cool perks through our Discord server, which you can also find in the description. By joining us on Patreon, you get access to account reviews, which we do on Tuesdays. So come join us on Tuesdays if you are already a patron, or why not consider signing up on Patreon by clicking that link up there in the top corner of the screen. With all that said, let's go ahead and check out this week's event for Idle Heroes to make sure that you guys are making the right decisions for not just this week, but the weeks to come. So, because it's Imp's Adventure, every day for logging in, we're going to get ourselves four ordinary dice. And these dice can be used in Imp's Adventure to make progress, and also will potentially get you some bonus rewards this week. Stay tuned for more on that. We also get 100 Violet Conches, which can go ahead and be used to get yourself rewards in the campaign loot drop. You also get more of them from campaign in general. So if you claim your loot, you'll see I've got six here, and I'm sure you'll be able to collect a ton throughout the week. If we go into the limited events, you'll see that we have, first of all, the value packages for this week. These are giving us dice and gems and can be bought with either story gems, contract story gems, or money. Is this worth it though? Well, it depends on what you plan on doing this week. To jump right to the bottom, you'll see we have a Starlight Melody, which is giving us bonus rewards on top of all the other things this week. So in Imp's Adventure, when you use an ordinary dice, you'll get a point. When you go ahead and consume the event currency in the Undersea Treasures, you'll also get some points. And also, if you awaken a hero one time in the Soul Temple, you'll get five points as well. Now, if you add all those points together, you'll start getting big numbers like 100, 200, 300, and you'll start getting chests. Every time you get 100 points, so whether it's 100, 200, 300, 400, and so on, you'll get that first chest there. That's going to get you a Transcendence Copy Selection Chest with Spiritual Essence, Stellar Shards, and Master's Toolboxes. If you get to 200 points, every 200 points gets you more of that stuff, but instead it's getting you a different Transcendence Chest. 300 gets you some newer Transcendence Copies, including Betty, which is quite nice. So every hero from Vulcan through Betty is there. And for the 1,000 point earners, you can get yourself this chest, which is epic. It has has the opportunity to grab a mysterious artifact, it's got glorious flags and some relics, you could maybe get sublimation, you could get spiritual essence, although I would definitely recommend you don't get this, you could get yourself half a core of origin, and if you're a late late game player, you can even get yourself some divine power aurora gems to get yourself some destiny heroes, so there are a lot of options here and scattered spirit vein shards too. So whatever you guys are interested in, if you plan on getting to a thousand points, you can get yourself that last chest. However, if you're a free-to-play player, that's going to be extremely difficult. Most people only get around 78 ordinary dice and maybe some lucky ones by doing Imp's Adventure. If you look at Imp's Adventure, there's this hut here. Every time you land on it, you'll get another ordinary dice. So let's just say you get 80 ordinary dice as a free-to-play player. That's 80 points. If you go and consume your event currency, most people will typically expect to get 2,400 plus the additional bonus ones you get from Imp's Adventure. And most free-to-play players, when it comes to Imp's Adventure, normally only get to the 200-point rewards. So that's another 250 Violet Conches. Add that to the 240, that takes you to 2,650. And as you can tell, that's pretty decent. You could add some Universal Crystals in there as well and convert that into more Violet Conches. And then as a free-to-play player, I'd recommend looking to get yourself some Star Spawn Core 5s from this shop. Maybe even Star Spawn Core 6s if you're sure, but typically 5s are the harder one to get. Doing all that will get you a fair few points. Let's say you go crazy and do get yourself some Star Spawn Core 5s, then yeah, you'll get yourself 300 points. But that's only 380 when we add the Ordinary Dice to that. That means you're going to have to go ahead and do 62 Awakens in the Soul Temple, which is a little bit overkill. And this week, we have a Soul Awakening Gala. You're going to get points for every Awakened hero you do, and those points will add up to get you prizes. 20 points will get you a Transcendence Chest, 40 gets you a slightly better one, 70 gets you an Imminent Chest, which contains anyone in the game except for Gaggy, even Betty's in here too, and you get a Treasure Coupon. 
but the biggest stuff comes at 100 onwards. 100 gets you an artifact chest or a flag. 150 is getting you some spiritual essence or the essence sublimation chest. I highly recommend you go for the sublimation chest. That's the better pick there. And then 300 points gets you either a sublimation chest. Again, you can get essence, but I wouldn't. And you can also, if you want, get half a core of origin chest for your transcendence heroes. So some really good rewards here too. Now the temptation might be then, if you're a free-to-play player or a budget player, to go ahead and use a ton of contract story gems to do this. Well, you'd probably need about three and a half to 4,000 contract story gems before we even get started to be able to then destroy the heroes you got from those awakens and then use that to get more contract story gems and then do more awakens to finally get to 300 points. Typically, it takes someone 50 to 55 awakens to get that 300 point reward. That means that's not going to be enough to take you to 1,000, even if you use Universal Crystals to consume more event currency. Now, that might mean that people will want to consume more Universal Crystals if you've got a massive stockpile, and therefore perhaps going in on the Soul Awakening Gala as a free-to-play or budget player is not a bad idea. But to justify that, you're going to need a heck of a lot of Universal Crystals, which might be a bit of a push. If you've got them, though, huge points, huge rewards. On the other hand, if you fall short, it's completely wasted. I don't think going for this Soul Awakening Gala is that good. It's not tied with a Soul Awakening session, so we're not getting ourselves a B- minus stone, which is very, very typical. If you look in my bag, these B stones are so common to pick up from these galas because they're always given when you get to 200 points. This gala is slightly worse. It's not giving us that. So therefore, for a typical free-to-play player, I think unless you have enough Universal Crystals to take yourself to 1,000 points, I wouldn't even try going for the Awakens here. On top of that, you're going to need around 4,000 Contract Story Gems to do that safely. There is nothing worse than going for a gala and not having enough contract story gems at all. On top of that, we've got some huge events coming up like Black Friday and Christmas where contract story gems will probably be able to be used to get yourself some huge rewards. And last Black Friday even gave Awakening Stones of all the way up to B+. So if you're interested in Awakening Stones, then I'd probably save your contract story gems just in case they're needed. More galas like this will absolutely show up. So if in doubt, save your contract story gems. On the topic of contract story gems though, this week we can get ourselves some more. If you've got a six star dark hero and a six star light hero, you can go ahead and throw them in the bin and exchange them for some of these contract story gems, which is not that bad. It's a nice way to get yourself some resources on your account and contract story gems are super valuable. So if you've got the food to spare, I would definitely do this. I think every player, whether you're free to play or a spender, ought to be getting these because they're definitely worth it. One sad thing, though, about this week is if you saw our last Imps Adventure event, we were getting a fancy chest for 110, 170, and 230 points, even one for 300 as well. And these chests contained Star Spawn calls. They were awesome. There was way more in that, too, and you could get all those rewards. There was calls, Stellar Shards, I think, as well. They're not offering that anymore, which really sucks. They were some of the coolest chests we've had, and it was a massive win from DH Games to give that to us. So it's twice that we're getting slightly scammed in this week's event. Given the fact there's no extra chest here, and there's no B-Stone in the Soul Awakening Gala, I think this event could certainly be better, and I think if you were to skip these things out, it wouldn't be a miss. Did you know you can even spend gems to get yourself some more ordinary dice? But let's say you weren't going for the Starlight Melody, let's say you didn't even want to push this, it was going to be a sleeper event for you, you could absolutely save your gems by not buying them. Just get the minimum reward, you might push up to 140, 170 if you're lucky without having to buy any dice, and then just use that and... That's going to be your progress for this week. You get to save those dice for future events. We've got huge stuff coming next week, so stay tuned. We'll take a look at that in a moment. But also, we've got Black Friday coming. That's this month. It's like two weeks away. There's so many big events on the way that probably saving gems is a really, really good idea as well. So... What else have we got? We've got Shelter Mission. This is really nice. It's giving us Alamac, Eloise, Vessa, Waldeck, and we got Aspen and Asmodel here, but never get this. 2,000 gems is never worth it. But these other four are fantastic, especially if you're a newer player. Eloise is by far the best hero early on in the game, so you're going to need four Ranger four stars and also a five star from the Shadow Faction to get her. Vessa, fantastic early Transcendence hero alongside Eloise. Same can be said for Alamac. The fact that both of them are being given is great. You're going to need warriors for the Alamac. You're going to need priests for the Vessa. And then finally, Mr. Waldeck over here, 
really good support hero alongside an Eloise, and you only need three copies to build him to nine star, and that's all it takes for him to be good. This is going to be hard though, because you'll need a cache of copies, as she is an assassin and the only assassin, and being a one of hero can be quite hard to grab, but if you do get copies of her, that should be great, and then throw in a five star as well. You want to do all of this, as that's not just going to get you a copy of the hero, you get armor and dice, more importantly, as well. And that dice, of course, gets you progress in Imps Adventure. So all the things on offer this week seem pretty good, but nothing quite like this. The adventure package this week, and I've saved it till last because it's fantastic, is incredible. This is giving you 10,000 gems, 35 ordinary dice, 200 universal crystals, 15 treasure coupons, double rewards from Imps Adventure, and triple rewards from the Starlight Melody. Which means if you get 666 points, those reward points get tripled, and that's going to take you to 2,000, which is then going to go ahead and get you two of this chest. That is ridiculous for 50 bucks. Heck, you might even push yourself up to get 1,000 points and then triple that and get a third one as well. Not to mention you're getting all of these other chests in their multitudes as well. That is brilliant for spenders and makes this one of the best packs we've had available to us. I love Imp's Adventure packages because they really have to make them good to make us buy them, and that's definitely a good one to grab if you are a spender. Of course, this is probably going to require you to go in the Soul Awakening Gala to then multiply your points here in the Starlight Melody, so just be prepared. You are probably going to have to use some contract story gems this week if you do want to get the most value out of that adventure pack. Either way, let's take a look at next week's stuff. We have Thanksgiving coming up. That's very exciting. Thanksgiving Feast is typically a really good event, giving us opportunities to get top rewards. So expect artifacts, sublimation, cause of origin, and more importantly, Destiny Hero stuff. That could be very helpful for making progress. Fantasy Factory is going to be here too, along with Profit Orbs, which is giving Gaggy as a top reward, and Heroic Miracle is giving Natalie. That's a good hero to get. I'm happy with that. So overall, next week looks absolutely fantastic. And for the full breakdown of that, hit the subscribe button. I will be giving you a video next Friday, as I always do, reviewing that event as well. And no doubt that's going to be one of the biggest Profit Orb events we've seen this year. So for that and more, go hit that subscribe button. I will see you in the next one. And hopefully you guys have an absolutely fantastic week here in Idol Heroes. Until next time, though, I wish you the best. And of course, happy hunting.